Hey everybody and welcome back to the long awaited video on health bars and cyclox. Let's jump right in. But right before we begin, I want to show you some news. Now, don't skip forward through this, it's a really quick segment and if you're following the series at all, you'll definitely want to hear this. The first thing, if you look at these tabs up here, we have the objection.log discord. I'll leave a link in the description to this. If I head up to search and search for me, and you can see, look, my video is there, yay, someone put a link to it. Anyway, um, there's also going to be a new channel, which is pretty exciting. So uh, here's some exclusive Bingley Pro analytics. You can see I've been getting a constant flow of views, even though like streams and videos have not affected it. Because it's all of these objection.lol videos, these are all, basically all of these views are from it. And basically none of my gaming content is getting any views. Because so many people I think are subscribing from the first part because they're like, wow, it's so amazing. Which obviously it is, but just by me. So I'm going to be making a new channel called Bingley Tutorials. Ooh, exciting. So it's got one subscriber me, but if, and it probably won't have a video for a few months. So in the description, or you can just search for at Bingley Tutorials. Just search for Bingley Tutorials and here it won't pop up with anything. But you can uh, check it out, subscribe to it, so you know when the next video will come out. Uh, part 5 and part 6 I probably will put on my main channel, because this is definitely still in the works, but there's something to know. And finally, a new case maker. You might not have seen this trailer, which was from a month ago, but it's basically something called the Turnabout Creator. That looks pretty good. You can see if I head to this comment, You can see if it's been an Ace Attorney game, they're basically going to add all these features like this. In Objection.Law, we don't have Cyclox, Perception. We can kind of create Cyclox, but not Perception. It's also got HD assets, and it's probably going to kind of be better. So Objection.Law Discord did make an official reply to this. Just scrolled away from it. But it says some part have all the features objection not lol has there's a catch that it will be limited to pc and mac and when a video making as in one of those kind of low quality videos on youtube that you see but i think it will coexist and this will and objection at law will probably be used for more the lower kind of quality videos like the debate videos on youtube but this will be able to use will have hd graphics flexible assets case making and it'll be much better so the reason is, I want to show you that Cyclops do not work perfectly, and like, one of the animations sometimes doesn't even work at all. That's all where. Obviously when this comes out, I will start making tutorials on it, but I will continue making them on Objection.lol as well. So, that's about it for the news. Let's jump right in. If you need to, check out this link in the description for this XAML project. I'll preview it to show you it, it's pretty simple. So obviously we've got this, and then we've got some conversations. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Uh, then we can talk about Gumshoe's salary. I was wondering about Gumshoe's salary, all we have to say is less than one copy. Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate for Gumshoe. And then we get the cycle scenes. The animation did actually play. But quite often, this animation doesn't play, which is kind of unfortunate. And the fade's not perfect there too, but it's it's already complicated to do what it has right now. You can present the Magatama. And if you give it a second... Like that, see it didn't play that time either. I'll look more about that later. What's this Gumshoe selling? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? And then we can either say I've just done two Godot, Prosecute, and Nose Gumshoe Salary, or Fake Godot. So if I present Fake Godot, and te take a look at the health bar up here, you can see it one's flashing, and then it does the penalty. 
it doesn't animate that well, but we can't do any more animation than that. It's just pretty simple. And we can actually present this the, the right one this time. And this animation generally plays pretty accurately. And that's the best pop-up we have, and the background also doesn't fade out. I'm not entirely sure about that. But that's pretty much it. And then you can have another conversation that plays to actually go, but I don't have that at the moment. So that's what we're gonna be looking on. I have one scene just with some you know, the starting content, and then we have the actual cyclops. So you're gonna need to make three, or probably four, gumtree salary. Gumtree salary with a lock. Um, this one doesn't matter what it's called, and then one more, but well, afterwards. So this first one is gonna be the starting conversation. Before we can do that, we actually need to add cyclops as a character. So if you head up to assets, these are. Discord actually made a change that Discord image links expire after like 24 hours. So a lot of custom characters suddenly just you couldn't use them anymore because all their stuff was like deleted. So that's why this video has been a little bit more delayed because I had to wait for the new code to be made. Sure is one. So it's this code right here. Click on it and click here and you'll get your site looks that appear here. I'll leave the code on screen for a bit. And then it go up to project pairs up here. And add a new pair, call it Godot Cyclox or something like that. And set your first character to be the Cyclox and second character to be the other one. Make sure front is selected on this one. And you've got some offsets here. This is gonna be like minus 20 as default for both of them. So just set it to negative nine, negative zero, positive zero. There's also, an, I have another one here, but don't worry about that. It's just trying to fix that animation, but it doesn't seem to work. Also in the court record, you're going to want to add this Megatama so you can present it. This is the link I'm using, link in the description. That's just courtrecords.net slash evidence slash Megatama2. And the profiles is just this mugshot image. I'll leave it in the description. They're both the same. So they're pretty simple to add. And you can do that pretty easily. If you're wondering how to do this lock, it is actually a Unicode lock. I'll also leave that link in the description how you can access that. And make sure you're in an investigation group to make these conversations for those who really can't actually make them. So that's pretty simple. So in this first conversation, you can have a bit of conversation. And then this is a frame before we want it to happen. And then this is a starting frame. What you want to do is have this tag, which I think is a sound effect. Yeah, it is. This is like the drama pound effect. And you have a pulse for 500 milliseconds. And what you want to do here is first hide the dialogue's visibility and in effects, also filtering to invert the background another frame with a pause of 500 and this one is where you're going to fade out the background for 500 milliseconds then here select your pair down here change it to Godot make it the, whatever the animation you want change it back to this make sure it is the active character and select the appear one to appear that's very important. Then obviously here, you can say Cyclox. You can leave it on the two up here. I'd recommend saying the active character back to good, active character back to go dot. And then over here, you're just gonna fade out everything for 500 milliseconds. Then go back to here, this is a move to the next frame immediately, but then frame it just fades in the background and there's no filter. And here, also has a fade in everything. So you do need to fade in the background first. And that's pretty simple on how that cycle works. This just have dot 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 in it. And then this one is a little bit more complicated. 
So the first thing we see of this phoenix, right? Let's just take that. Let's take a look. It says off-screen frame, so this won't actually show except for the speech bubble. So just show take that on this frame. And then the next frame, you want to do the exact same thing we did before. And then put a full stop there. Write this one line down. Actions, center the text for the frame. And in effects, you want to keep the background inverted. Here, we start the cycle of music on a new frame, not on this frame. The reason is because when if we present the wrong evidence, I make it skip back to this frame automatically, which means the background music basically will restart and it sounds really bad. So you want to put this on a new frame of itself. Then you can start just having some conversation. Well, I don't know Gumshoe's salary. So the case action to ask the player to present evidence. The real one, set a frame ID, set a frame ID. Pretty simple. After each one, make it go to one of these. Take that, set it to Phoenix, set the speech bubble to take that. Make it an off-screen frame. Obviously keep it in inverted. And then you can have some just conversation. As this is a fake one, this is like, say what after, like what does this prove? Don't put the penalty one where it flashes on this one. Make it a frame above, set it to move to the next frame. And in actions, set flashing health points. In the next one, this one, modify health points. Kind of after this. Make sure you have a pause here. And then do it on this one. Which also places the explosion sound effect and then waits about 750 milliseconds. And try again. Which moves on to this frame, which jumps back to the original frame. If you do it the other way, it stops the music. You see, this is the active character, and we set to 2 break 1 and then 2 break 2. And then this does have a pop up with this character unlock successful. It doesn't look very good, but it's the best we're going to be able to get. Unless you find another one. And then, this reason we, you got to fade out the background, then everything, which you haven't done here, but. That's pretty simple for that. So that's basically how the cyclops work. I pretty much explained how the health bar works as well. Just two things, modify health points, set flashing health points. There's nothing more advanced you can do than that. Also actually, there is one more thing. Over here, under one of these, I think it's under unlock successful. I just increase health points by 60. Because that's what normally happens when you unlock some. And this is a point where you would have an action, toggle visibility, toggle visibility of investigation elements, and you would hide the, the gumshoe salary and add another one. In fact, when you ask the original gumshoe salary, you're going to need one at the bottom that shows these ones and hide this ones. Because this lock one needs to be present one that you can present the Megatama to. So that is a little bit complicated. You might want to watch this video again and definitely check out this example project because it will be very helpful. Uh, that's about it. Remember to subscribe to this Bingley tutorial so you don't catch the future ones. And yeah, I'll be making a video on this channel about what's going to happen with like Bingley tutorials and the rest of this channel. But this is going to be more gaming content. Obviously still tutorials before Bingley tutorials actually comes out. Thank you so much for watching, I'm sorry this video was delayed, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one, bye!